I'm Dr. Marco Gazelle. I'm here today from Two Rivers Treads in Ranson, West Virginia. Today we're going to talk about a new type of insole called a proprioceptive insole. Most insoles that you might get at a doctor's office or a store tend to control your foot and uh, support your foot. What a proprioceptive insole does is it teaches the muscles in your feet to do that, to control your foot and support your foot. So it's a longitudinal training tool to restore normal function in a foot. So at first, what is proprioception? Proprioception is that feeling of our feet on the ground that activates 200,000 nerve endings to turn the muscles on. For a lot of us, our feet are so uh, canvassed in thick shoes, cushioned shoes, that we lose that sense of feel of the ground. And we want to restore that because if you don't feel the ground, the muscles can't wake up. So what I see a lot of times when I uh, I work with customers or patients in my medical office, people have really collapsed feet. They have what would be called a weak foot. And you can see that my ankles are kind of rolled in and my arches are collapsed. So what we're trying to restore is what's called a strong foot. And this is where the bone here called the talus is neutral. And that's the ankle rocker. So again, this is a really weak foot and this is a strong foot. And if our feet don't feel the ground when we walk and we run, we tend to just collapse our feet in, but we don't even know we're doing that. So the Barefoot Science insole has a little bump right there, almost like you have a wobble board. It's going to be at the ball of your foot and right there in the arch, and it's going to wake those muscles up to support that arch. And you start at a level zero. So when I put this underneath my foot, what I might feel is, oh, I feel a little bit of a bump there. And that's a good thing because what that is going to do over time is my foot's going to start lifting off of that. It feels and it lifts off it, but it's not supporting it. And then what you're going to do after a week or two, you're going to add a little level to it. So now I've got a little more bump. Walk around for a couple weeks. I don't feel that bump anymore because that means your foot's starting to shape. And you're going to progress to the point where your foot is back in this neutral position instead of the collapsed position. The conditions that this is powerful for helping is plantar fasciosis for one, most common injury in walkers and runners and just in everyday life. Um, seems like so many people have this. The other is a condition called tib posterior tendinosis. So we have a tendon called the tib posterior that attaches to eight muscles underneath the arch and it works as kind of a suspension and sling of those arch muscles. And when our intrinsic foot muscles get weak, there's a lot of stress on that tendon. So the way to fix that problem is strengthen the foot from the bottom up and then problem tends to relieve. So that's Barefoot Science. Um, come check them out here at Two Rivers Treads if you have plantar fasciosis or tib posterior tendinosis or just your feet become fatigued and you want to train up those muscles. Walk around in these every day. I use them in my walking shoes, in my work shoes, and I love wearing them when, when I run. And it just helps the fatigue of my feet helps my feet function better.